Hi everyone, so I'm just going to talk you through some of the quotations that you should have just analysed independently. I don't want you to worry if you've got them wrong, but make notes on some of the things I'm going to talk about now. So just make sure you've got a pen, you've got some paper and you're making notes on some of these quotations. If you've got a copy of the poem, it'd be really good if you could annotate it, but don't worry if you haven't, you can just write down the quotation and the analysis underneath. So the first quote that we were analysing um, in the PowerPoint was this bit in the cockpit, a shaven head full of powerful incantations. Now, in the PowerPoint, it tells you that incantations means a spell. So this suggests that the father character in the poem, so just to go to that actually, the poem is about a kamikaze pilot. It's told from the perspective of the kamikaze pilot's daughter. Now, Beatrice Garland has just created these characters. She isn't, the, she isn't a character in it. Obviously, she's not from Japan. So these are just complete characters. Um, so the father is the one that's in the cockpit of the kamikaze fighter plane, and he's got a shaven head, and it's full of powerful incantations. So incantations mean spells. Now, this suggests that the father has been indoctrinated um, or brainwashed in some way. And this could be a link to patriotism. So it seems to suggest that the father has been influenced by Japanese patriotic values, that it's honourable to give your life for your country in this way. So that seems to be suggesting that he's been brainwashed by this notion of patriotism. The next quotation that I asked you to look at was, and enough fuel for a one-way journey into history. Um, and I asked the question, what does this suggest about his state of mind and his reason for completing a suicide mission and for giving up his entire life? And the idea of a one-way journey into history, the one-way journey suggests that he is willing to give his life for his country. But this idea of into history suggests he thinks that he's going to be a hero again reinforcing that he's potentially being brainwashed by patriotic values he thinks is something heroic um, and honourable and admirable by doing the suicide mission. So it's kind of giving you an insight into the kamikaze pilot's mindset and why you would do something so drastic. Um, the next answer is this one and I like the way this starts. It starts with the coordinate conjunction but so this instantly implies to us that something changed. So the first answer is very much the kamikaze pilot feeling focused and determined to complete his mission. And it explains why he was so set on giving his own life um, for the mission. The second stanza, everything changes. Now, this is called a volta. V-O-L-T-A, and a volta is where there's a sudden shift in tone in a poem. Um, and that's what we're seeing here. So there's a shift in the tone and it completely changes. It goes from the kamikaze pilot feeling determined to starting to change his mind about completing the mission. And it tells us that halfway there, she thought. So this means the don't know for definite. So this is what the daughter thinks is the reason that he didn't go through with the mission or one of the reasons he didn't go through with the mission. Now, the reason that the family don't know the exact reasons he didn't go through with the mission are because they've rejected him and they've never really spoken to him again. So they'll never know for sure. So she says, but halfway there, she thought, recounting it later to her children, he must have looked far down at the little fishing boat strung out like bunting on a green blue translucent sea. And I think this is one of the best quotations to remember. It makes nature sound beautiful. So translucent makes the water sound clear. Um, it creates crafts images that our head a bit glittering and sparkling and being quite a beautiful sight to behold. Um, the idea of green blue again sounds quite tropical and it creates this image of natural beauty. Uh, so this implies that one of the reasons that the daughter suspects her father didn't go through with the mission is that he noticed the beauty of nature. Now, this is a really common theme throughout the other poems in the Power and Conflict cluster, as it seems to suggest that nature's power is more powerful than humanity's because obviously he's been under 
the control of humans here, the government or um, patriotism, like human values and beliefs, um, have pushed him into thinking and doing the missions a good thing. But actually, the beauty of nature has outpowered that. It's outweighed that. Um, and nature's actually had a more powerful impact on him than patriotism and human values in their culture. So it's, one, nature is one of the reasons that he potentially didn't go through with the mission, suggesting that nature can have a powerful effect or influence on a person. Um, we then move on and the daughter starts to think about other reasons that he maybe didn't go through with the mission. And we see in this stanza here, which is the next part I looked at with you, it says, and remembered how he and his brothers waiting on the shore built cairns of pearl grey pebbles to see who's withstood the longest. So this is just a childhood memory. Um, and the daughter is suggesting that potentially memories are something else, mem memories of family are something else that have put him off going through with his mission. Um, so again, this this in this bit, this is suggesting the power of memory. So the two things that she's emphasising that have potentially um, stopped him from going through with the mission are the power of nature and the effect that nature has on him and the power that his memories have on him, his childhood memories. So she gives two reasons for him potentially not going through with the mission and that's that nature's impact, the beauty of nature has had a powerful and profound effect and that um, memories, his childhood memories have had a powerful and profound effect on him. So this is suggesting in this poem that nature and memories can be more powerful than culture and patriotism. Um, though culture and patriotism obviously still have are presented as powerful to an extent because those are the values that have pushed him into the mission in the first place. The poem then moves on and we find out later in the poem, um, in the last two stanzas, that nobody ever spoke to him again. So it says, and though he came back, my mother never spoke again in his presence, nor did she meet his eyes. So the kamikaze's own wife rejected him when he came back off the mission. So this suggests that he was rejected and shunned by even those who should love him the most. Um, the last stanza explains that even his children ultimately rejected him. It says, till gradually we too learned to be silent, to live as though he had never returned, that this was no longer the father we loved. And sometimes she said he must have wondered which had been the better way to die. So the final line of the poem suggests that whilst he hasn't physically died, he didn't give his life for the mission, he's as good as dead to his family because of how they've shunned and rejected him. Now, this again reinforces the powerful effects of culture and patriotism on an individual. So the family um, have rejected the father, the kamikaze pilot, because they think he's been dishonourable by not going through with the mission for his country. So it suggests that patriotism and the cultural beliefs in Japan at the time affected the family more than their love for the kamikaze pilot. So this suggests that culture and patriotism have a very powerful effect um, on some individuals. So in this poem, it's predominantly a power poem. It suggests that nature is powerful, memories are powerful, culture is powerful, and patriotism is powerful. All of these factors seem to have powerful effects on different people in the poem. So there's a lot of different types of power that we see um, in the poem. So that's it for the overview. Um, we'll be going over methods, so language instruction X lesson, and just make sure that if you got any of the answers wrong or that you didn't develop them as much as I just have, that you make notes on it. Thank you. Bye.